Greetings and welcome to Infodome, where we curate facts about a wide selection of topics for you to feed your curiosity. In this series, we are travelling across the cosmos to give you facts about the solar system. Dark, cold and whipped by supersonic winds, ice giant Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. However, recently scientists have discovered some hidden wonders. So let's jump right into the video. Neptune is an ice giant, like its brother Uranus, but this world has an atmosphere made up of mostly molecular hydrogen, atomic helium and methane. It gives it this beautiful blue tone. Most of its mass is a hot, dense fluid of icy materials above a small rocky core. Neptune has a storm similar to the Great Red Spot on Jupiter. It is commonly known as the Great Dark Spot and is roughly the size of Earth. The climate on Neptune is extremely active. In its upper atmosphere, large storms sweep across it and high-speed solar winds track around the planet at up to 1,340 km per second. The largest storm was the Great Dark Spot in 1989 which lasted for around five years. Neptune has supersonic winds. While on Earth, we are concerned about hurricanes. The strength of these storms is nowhere near what you would find on Neptune. At its highest altitudes, according to NASA, winds blow at more than 1,000 miles per hour. That's 1,700 kilometers per hour. To put that in context, that's faster than the speed of sound on Earth. Why Neptune is so blustery is a mystery, especially considering the sun's heat is so little at this distance. Neptune orbits our sun at a distance of around 2.8 billion miles, that's 4.5 billion kilometers. This is such an unimaginable distance. Do you want to go to Neptune? If so, in a very high powered spaceship, it could take about 12 years. Unfortunately, there is no good reason why anyone would want to go there. Neptune is four times wider than Earth. If Earth were a large apple, Neptune would be about the size of a basketball. It takes around 16 hours to rotate once, a Neptunian day and about 165 Earth years to orbit the Sun. This is a Neptunian year. On the 11th of July, 2011, Neptune completed its first full orbit since its discovery in 1846. Neptune spins very quickly on its axis. The planet's equatorial clouds take 18 hours to complete one rotation. The reason this happens is that Neptune does not have a solid body. Neptune has 13 moons, which are named after sea gods and nymphs in Greek mythology. The largest Neptunian moon, Triton, was discovered just 17 days after Neptune itself was discovered. It is a frozen world, smaller than our moon, which spits out particles of nitrogen, ice and dust from below its surface. It is believed that Triton was caught by the immense gravitational pull of Neptune and is regarded as one of the coldest worlds in our solar system. Unlike every other large moon in the solar system, Triton orbits in the opposite direction to the spin of the planet. That means that it's unlikely Triton and Neptune formed at the same time. The most likely explanation to that is Triton is a visitor to the Neptunian system that never left. One theory is billions of years ago, Triton was not a moon at all. It grew up in a region of space way beyond Neptune in the Kuiper Belt. Perhaps Triton ended up in the inner edge of this region and ventured close enough to Neptune to be drawn in by its gravity. Neptune has six known rings like the other outer planets, Neptune possesses a ring system, though its rings are very faint. They are most likely made up of ice particles and grains of dust with a carbon-based substance coating them. 
Voyager 2 is the only spacecraft to have visited Neptune. No spacecraft has orbited this distant planet to study it at length and up close. Only one spacecraft, the Voyager 2, has flown past Neptune. It happened in 1989 and captured the first close-up images of the Neptunian system. It took 246 minutes, or just over four hours, for signals from Voyager 2 to reach back to Earth. Because of dwarf planet Pluto's elliptical orbit, Pluto is sometimes closer to the Sun, and us, than Neptune is. Very little is known about this icy blue world, but after peeling back some of the layers, we can see that it is highly active, very windy, and has a moon with geysers spewing nitrogen ice. Thank you for watching this video. That was the last episode in our solar system series. If you liked that, we have more videos on a wide range of topics to feed your curiosity. Until next time!